Yo, what's up dudes, how is it going? Today we are playing a little bit of a new druid that has emerged from the shadows of the reddits, which is actually a really cool deck, so it's a mill druid. It works surprisingly well against any class that isn't druid. Doesn't work against druid, you won't win against druid, but against everything else it works really really well, and let me go ahead and show it off. So, um, as you can see, it's filled with removal. Filled with removal, and then also cards that let us draw. So we got Cold Light Oracle, Growth Tender, and Naturalize to make him draw more. Now, the Naturalizes are actually what kill your opponent. And not only the Naturalizes, but hopefully some other card draw mechanic they use. Because as you can see, Cold Light Oracle and Growth Tender, they both make both of us draw a card. So they doesn't really, like, you don't really create a difference there, right? You don't really create an advantage with those, since we're trying to mill them to get them to fatigue and then let fatigue kill them. But you don't really create a difference here. Instead, you just create a slight, you know, you just push the game along and make it go by quicker. And um, this right here creates a difference, which is slightly offset by the Starfire, which is a, sl a bit unfortunate. But usually most decks play some sort of uh, card draw mechanism, and you just make use of that uh, in combination with the Naturalize to kill your opponent. On top of that, this deck has got infinite heals with the Antique Heal Board, Healing Touch, and Tree of Life. You are... HP, uh, look, let's just do the math, okay? We got 36 coming out from the Healing Touch and the Antique Heal Board. You got 30 base, so 66. <laughs> Tree of Life, usually if I play it, I get at about 20 HP, right? T about. I had games where I literally healed for 29, and I had games where I used it at 15. But 15 is the lowest and 20 is the highest. So uh, about 80 HP is safe to assume, right? You have at least 80 HP every game. And um, other than that, this deck is just filled with techs. So we got Iron Beaks Owls for more sounds. We, of course, all got Keep of the Growth. Poison Seeds to just get rid of everything. This card is really cool to just, okay, fuck it. You got a bunch of big dudes. Let's just get rid of all of that. Poison Seeds in combination with Starfall, of course, is a fantastic removal. Uh, swipe because it's good. And uh, then we got Big Game Hunter, Acidic Swamp Boost, and uh, a youthful Brewmaster just for good measure. This deck is surprisingly good. Seriously, this is actually a really good deck. Now, I'm hoping we don't play against Druid, because I can't tell you how the games against Druid don't go, right? They get they get wide growth, and then you lose, because there's just so much big shit in a Druid deck. Even if they don't get wide growth, you still lose, because they got so much big shit. But against every other deck, like against Warrior, I have never lost against Warrior. It just has never happened. Against most other decks, I usually win. I usually win. Now, of course, season just started. I'm not really that high in rank, rank 15 at the moment. Um, should be okay, though. Against Mage, it doesn't really matter what kind of Mage is this. Uh, actually, the scariest match, Mage is the Mech Mage, but even that we can deal with. Uh, because we got a lot of AoE, a lot of good, solid base removal. But let me just show you. It's a really, really interesting deck. Um, it's very unique. It's something that I don't think has been done before in this way so usually all decks they play something to finish the game right they play ragnaros or druid would usually play force roar but uh, this deck doesn't this deck relies solely on fatigue to kill your opponent now this is the slowest deck in the game it is just it is the number one there's nothing in the day in the game that is slower than this deck it's simply perfect that that is absolutely perfect we're gonna start hitting that because it makes him draw cards. But there's nothing in the game uh, that is slower than this deck. There quite simply isn't. Because this deck relies solely on fatigue to kill your opponent. That's all. Right? It relies on... You, you see, he thinks that I didn't do that intentionally. It relies on fatigue. So, uh, it's entirely filled with heal and removal and and make your opponent draw. Nothing else. And uh, you might be surprised. Well, I mean, is fatigue really enough to kill an opponent? Yes, yes it is. Because you got to get rid of 30 cards. The cards in the stack can get rid of 30 cards. They can get rid of a solid 40. Probably. Like, I, I would not be surprised. And uh, do I actually hit this once more? Oh, fuck it. Let's just run out of Groove Tender. I'll just run. I should probably have done that last turn. I don't know. But whatever. But, uh, you know, like, there's just... Enough removal in here to really just get rid of everything. And uh, at the same... Except for Druid again, right? But and at the same time, fatigue kills so quickly. 
you are going to be surprised. Right, seriously, fatigue goes one damage, three damage, right? Uh, the overall amount, of course. One damage, three damage, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. 30, uh, 36? 36. So 7 cards, and your opponent is usually dead. It's not that difficult to get 7 cards. It's really not. So as you can see, I'm already making him draw. And he's actually gonna burn a card right here. Which is also nice, right? You get rid of their threats that way. Boom! Look at that! But Ice Block doesn't actually matter. Ice Block is actually the best card he could burn. Uh, I just got excited about it because I love seeing Ice Block burned. But uh, it actually does not matter that he lost Ice Block because he's not going to be able to use that anyway. Oh, he shouldn't use it. Uh, that's a giant. That's fine. Like We're going up against the Echo Mage, I think. Or like some sort of giant mage. Uh, that's actually a perfectly fine matchup. I'm not worried about it. We're going to uh, naturalize that guy, I think. I'm not sure. Mm, seems like an okay play. You know, um, yeah, I think Naturalize is fine. Let's just get rid of that. Yup. That's gonna give him two more cards. Then we run out the Cold Light Oracle. And then we hit this guy. And he's gonna draw how many fucking cards? He's gonna burn like four cards, five cards right here. Dead. Dead. Did it, did it crash? Did I break it? No, wait. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's just his turn. I was a little confused, but he lost a lot of cards. That's 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 what matters, right? No, then again, he can also always run out mountain giants. That's just the thing he can do this game. Okay, explosive sheep. Frostbolt. Oh, that's a cheeky play. I like it. Okay. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. Uh do I swipe it? Do I just freaking swipe his face and kill the sheep that way? I can't hit it, obviously. I'm gonna play a card. Uh, I think running out the Wild Pyromancer is actually fine. Wild Pyromancer heal? Let me lose the Wild Pyromancer. I don't think I need to do that. Huh. That's probably an Ice Bug, right? Let's use the heal just to see. It might be... Might be counter spell? No, it's not. It's ice block. Is it? Yeah, it's ice block. Okay. Uh, that's okay, right? I'm nah, not too happy about that play, but we had to use something because we have already been drawing so many cards. But as you can see, this guy's at nine cards right now. Yep. Just gonna go ahead and duck the boom. Uh, boom his face. How about that? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and go about it. This way. How many cards does he have? Seven. So playing the Cold Light Oracle right now would not really do anything. Right? No, it wouldn't. Okay. But again, uh, this deck is the slowest deck in the game because it's literally just, hey, we're going to make this last until you used all of your cards. And that takes a while. At the same time, since it's entirely removal based, you also have to think a lot. Which I personally love, right? I think that's amazing. But, you know, that's up to personal opinion, of course. Whether or not you'll enjoy that. But I do. Oh, nice. Oh, that's sweet. Let's go and run all that stuff, eh? Boom, you get out. Uh, what do we do with that fellow? Oh. I think we are fine just hitting it. Yeah. It's also the most controlly of control decks, right? You're not gonna find a deck that's more controlled than this. I don't know, it's, it's, it's very unique. That is for certain. Now that is also something that we like to call a problem. That should be fine though. Yeah, I think we just shoot it. Should do I shoot it with this? No, I probably want to shoot it with the Starfall because then I can innovate out. No, I can't innovate an antique holy heal bot either way. I thought it was free mana for some reason. I would be slightly broken. So uh, we just shoot it. We are still fine in terms of cards. We got a naturalized ready. Burned a giant. Probably burned another giant along the way. 
wasn't quite paying attention. You have to pay attention. Like, I'm just terrible at paying attention. <laughs> That's just, let me be completely honest with you. That's just not a thing I'm good at. So, you know. Okay. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I'm kind of uh, weirded out by that secret right there. But I think the play is the same no matter what. Heal up. Yeah, that seems okay. And then we starfall this guy. <coughs> uh, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me. That was a mistake. Well played. At the same time, this might actually still work out. I did That was a misclick. I did not mean to do that. And sorry, the whole sneezing thing kind of got me out of the loop. Oh, well, if we lose now, that's why. I don't think we're gonna lose, though, because you can see, like, he's only... He's got nine cards left. We can just... We can just make him burn through those... Uh, five cards. Five cards. We got nine left. But we got a cold light, youthful, in a way, combo, which is, like, six cards. So he's not gonna be, and he's not gonna have any anything left after we are done next turn. I think. I'm very upset that I actually misplayed that right there. Now I get that was a genuine misclick. That was not me thinking that I need to do two damage to his minions. Like fuck me, no, why would I do that? That was just me. Oh shit, I didn't mean to press that button. Ah uh, well. Okay. So this is probably gonna be a duplicate uh, since it's the giant's mage, which is uh, slightly unfortunate. But I think it's okay. So, right. Duplicate. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you, you just don't worry about it. Then. Baby, baby, don't, 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 don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not concerned with it. I don't mind it. Quite frankly, I don't think you're the one that's supposed to feel sorry right now. Does that work? Yeah. So, honestly, don't don't worry, baby. We are cool. Ah, oh, I lost our cane intellect. That would have been, of course... Oh, there we go with the last giant. But that would have, of, of course, been cool to have. I don't know. Not a big deal. Uh, so, as you can see, he is at, out of cards entirely. We still got four left. And that's more than enough to kill him. Like, that, those those cards, right? You might say, well, it's, it's only a difference of four, really. Well, yeah, but a difference of four is how much damage? Ten? But it's not even that, right? Like, I take one damage and then he takes five next turn, right? It's just not even comparable. Um, I think now we actually Starfall. There's no rush, by the way. Right? You might say, well, don't you want to use the Innovates now? No. No, it's fine. It's fine. We don't we don't have to, right? Like, he's going to die anyway, so we can... Not Innovates, but the, the Naturalize now. No. Uh, we're going to keep this for something scary, right? He's going to die anyway, right? Even if we do, don't do anything now. We don't have to do anything, and he dies. It's game over. There we go, one damage. Uh, we basically won this game. I don't see any way he could possibly win this. I just don't. There's nothing. There's nothing he can do. Anything big he plays is just gonna get naturalized. Two sludge badges, okay, that's fine. You know what, I... <laughs> kind of feeling the, the poison seeds right here. Poison seeds into Pyromancer Swipe. Oh, that's gonna be tasty as fuck. He's not gonna appreciate this play. Pew. Get out, son! Get out, son! Get out, son! So, next turn is probably when we just naturalize something because, you know. Why not? <laughs> because it's probably gonna kill him. How much did he take? Two. And next turn is is free damage, right? Uh, so if he takes three, let's just let's just do math. Uh, okay, so he takes three, then he takes four, which is seven, twelve. Okay, it's not enough. It's not enough. So we just wait one more turn. Uh, we still got removal, right? We can still keep going. If we maybe get another card draw mechanism for him, something, then we. Oh, by the way, you don't need to naturalize an enemy, right? Destroy a minion, and then your opponent draws two cards. It doesn't matter what you destroy. Uh, so let's just run out an antique heal board, because that's run its purpose. And, uh, free damage. 
ist anything you can do, boy. No, it is nothing. So this is a really cool deck. All right. Uh, now, as you can see, we still got enough removal left to deal with some big stuff, right? Like, again, this deck can... Maybe 40 cards was optimistic, but it can deal with maybe 35, right? Now... A again, against Druid, you just don't fucking stand a chance because they got so much big shit, right? And we can deal with some big shit. We got the cards for that, no problem. But you can't deal with too much of it. Yeah, this is just whatever. It's it's literally game over now. Uh, what is that, Wrath? Well played. Well played, boy. Four, five, six. Boom, baby. Now, uh, again, right? Too much big, big minions are a problem. We don't really have a way of dealing with that. But with everything else, this deck actually does really well. It's 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 fascinating. I love this one. I think it's one of the coolest decks I've seen in a long, long time. Like, everything else kind of stuck to the same formula. It was just like, okay, you know what? This is a bit of a better way to play that other deck, right? Like, every Sue deck or every Handlock deck was always like, yeah, you know, like, it's it's kind of the same thing. You establish board control and then you hit your opponent, right? And you might say, well, that's Hearthstone. Yeah, it is. But this deck does not do that. This deck does something entirely different. And that, to me, is really cool, right? Just that idea of, wait, no. This isn't actually like all of the other decks. This is entirely unique. This is something entirely new. It doesn't work like anything else in this game. Because it doesn't say, okay, you create minions and then you hit your opponent with them. No, it just says, well, fuck, you remove everything they got and then you make them draw cards. You abuse their card draw and then you just kind of win. Because fatigue is going to kill them. Now against Warrior, I have not lost a single game. Not one. Actually, that's not true. I, No, did I? No, I won one. I lost one game. I lost one game while playing against Bob. But that cheeky motherfucker had the best draws anybody could ever have, right? Like that was just horrendously bad from my end. I had nothing. <laughs> I started out with literally all of my healing, right? No removal. It's just terrible. So, uh, you know, I guess you can lose, but you really shouldn't, because a warrior got like four or five big threats, and then you know a lot of smaller dudes. And then Acolytes, which are fantastic because we hit them and then make him draw cards for us. Um, I don't know if I'm too obvious if I run in there. Or if I should play the Groove Tender. I think we're going to play the Groove Tender. I don't want to make it too obvious. I really don't. I feel like if I run out the Cold Light Oracle, it's just straight up like very obvious what I'm doing. Growth Tender could just be like, ah, oh, shit, I don't have the greatest hand, I need some more cards, right? And I think Grove Town, though, overall, is not a bad card. It got kind of solid stats. 2-4 is pretty good, right? And uh, it got an interesting ability, so... Oh, again, interesting abilities. Oh, there we go, baby. Yeah, you get that going. You get that going. That's beautiful. I love you. Now we gotta get rid of this guy, though. Ah, actually, we don't. Right, anything that doesn't kill us is no threat. Oh, he's just gonna run into that. That's disappointing. I was looking to, you know, give give him one more card. So we probably want to get rid of the armor smith, though. Right? Yeah, that seems right. It's not gonna be the. Uh, actually, I can remove the entire board, right? Yeah. I like this more. I like this more. I could draw a card from the. From the wrath, but whatever, whatever. I don't have to because I, you know, I got plenty of cards. And look at these cards! Like this is beautiful, actually. Like two naturalizers. I got my cold light oracle ready. Big game hunter, just in case. Uh, it's kind of fantastic, honestly. We're just gonna star fall this fucker. It's not press the right one. <laughs> Let's not do that one again. But you know, it didn't matter, so that's fine. That's fine. <sighs> I, can take the hit. I can take the hit. That's a great card. I love the shield main. I think the shield main is really good. Oh, look at that. Another one of these. Let's draw some cards. My Pyromancer, Starfall. Ah, I needed that Starfall last turn. 
I how many cards does he have? Nine. You know what? Let's go for some. Let's go for some shenanigans. Boom, boom, oh boom! Look at that! Oh, that was the greatest of plays. Two big threats out of the way, just like that. That naturalized worked out great. Oh my! Look at that! Look at that! That is amazing. And lost Gromas and another. Yeah, that is incredible. Amazing. Of course, like that's a thing you can do, right? You just burn through their big threats from the top of their deck, and. Uh, you know, we, we got a bunch of bunch more removal. And actually, if one of these survives, I'm totally tossing it back because I want to keep it. Cold Light Oracle is just such a value play. He's at 11 cards. So again, the, these these games, they take a little longer because everybody is baffled if it comes to this deck. Right, okay. So how do you play against this? I don't know. I don't know how to play against this, right? Like... I feel like this is actually like a genuinely really good deck, right? This is something that can carry you to Legend. Um, it wins against most things that aren't Druid. <laughs> you don't win against Druid, but you win against most other things simply because you just burn through their threats. You just get rid of them, remove everything, and what can they do about it? What can they do about it? It's just so difficult. Like, I, I keep trying to come up with something they can do about it, and it's just like, wait, no, it just, that won't work, that won't work, that won't work. Like, you either try to really rush me down, but that's simply not going to happen. Or you're not going to win, I guess. Okay. So, how do I get rid of this fellow? I really do want to get rid of him. But I think for the time being, we're just going to hit that. Toss this guy back. Do we have any good plays? Do I use a Starfall on this? I think. That might seem overkill, but I need to use a card. Right? And Starfall is not the most valuable of plays against the Warrior. I don't think so. So, it should be fine. I don't know. I still got Starfires left. I still got Swipes left. Like, I, I got plenty of removal. I got White Pyromancer. I can stack with, like... All kinds of shenanigans, honestly. It should be fine. Okay. Huh. Do I... Oh man, do I just try to burn him some more? Okay, let's go for the fancy play. Ah, I don't have the mana, do I? How much now? I'm gonna be able to burn two more cards, three more cards. It's not worth it. Probably. Oh, I could just big game hunt it, but I don't have a good way of getting rid of the boom bots. I'm currently thinking why Pyromancer naturalizes this, gets rid of the boom bots. Why just, you know, leave one of the boom bots alive? Ah, maybe that's the best play. Right, like they're not that scary. And how many cards do I have? Nine. So I'm just gonna play the Growth Tender. Uh, I could have gone for some fancy shit there, but I can always do that next turn, and I feel like this turn it's more important to get rid of the damage he's got. Of course, uh, the best counter to this kind of deck is to just straight up fucking kill it. Which uh, can sometimes be a problem, yes. <laughs> okay, I got a death spite. I wonder if he's running his boom bot into the big game hunter. Yeah. Oh, he misses it. No, no, I only took one damage from it. Dr. Boom is fucking broken. Let me just say this. Like, Dr. Boom has got so much value. Oh, that card is stupid. Like, just in terms of stats, it's a 9947, which is already really good. But on top of that, I guess the fucking Boom bots. Like, seriously? That card is ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna hit him. How many does he have? Nine. I could just play this. Like, do this, and a cold light. But then I'm still running out of space. Uh, yeah, let's just, again, play it safe. Play, play it slow, there's no need to rush anything right now. I just gotta make sure I don't overdraw myself, because there's some very valuable cards in my deck that I still need. That's actually one of my biggest problems. Like, I tend to overdraw a lot. 
And sometimes there's just not much you can do about it. It's just like, God, I, I got the cards that I need right now. I'm just going to keep these. Right. And, and that's fine. That's not a problem. That's just slightly annoying nonetheless. Okay, fantastic. So we got our play figured out, I think. Uh, naturalize, Tree of Life. No. No, we don't have to. We can't just go with this guy. With this, right? And then with this guy. Burning through a lot more of his threats. Oh, there you go, Ragnaros. And uh, we basically won. Because he, he doesn't have any big guys left. Nothing. He's got one card left. <laughs> and, uh, I don't see what he can possibly do at this point. And look at us. We got we got the, we got everything. We, we can remove anything he plays. He's, he's lost Ragnaros. He lost Alexstrasza. He lost Grommash. He might... He might still have Vicera, but I can just get rid of that with a poison seed. Um, he lost both shield maidens. Like he, okay, such badges. Good job, I guess. I'm not really that scary. And he's been running very low on cards. Yay! Let's get rid of that. Just hit him. Sludge Bell, Child of the Way, and he doesn't have any cards left. So at this point, we are just playing to kill him. Right, we have done the removal bit. Uh, well, we aren't quite done with it yet. He's got eight threats left, right? We need eight more cards. Eight more cards that needs, need to be removed. The Iron Big Owl is probably just going to get axed. So we can't just take that out of, it, out of the equation. But eight more threats that need to be taken care of, which we can easily do. And after we have taken care of those eight threats, we win the game. That's just how it's going to go. Oh, that was a misplay. That was such a huge misplay. I, uh, you know, it might be okay. I think swiping this is fine. I would much rather keep the silence. Let me just hit him. And here. Boom! Two damage. Yeah, his clock is ticking. I gotta get. He gotta get going soon. Five more threats. Five more threats in the morning. Five more threats in the evening. Five more threats and son, you are going to sit down. Or something like that. So I wanna do that. If I play the Keeper of the Grove, does he actually steal it? I'm probably just gonna poison seed it. He can totally run out of poison seed for his Savannahs at this point. Let me just hit him some more. Four more threats in the morning. Four more threats in the evening. Four more threats all day long. Four more threats and then you're gone. Four more threats. Four more threats. Four more threats. Boom. Was that close? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Was that fair? Nope, in absolutely no way. Was it fun? Oh, most definitely. Did we get a booster pack? Ah, oh, baby, yes we did. Let's see, maybe we get something cool. I have drawn two legendaries so far, both of which were Gallywicks. Like, I got the same legendary twice, and both of them are terrible. I actually ended up disenchanting both. <laughs> it's just like, yay, 40 more dust. Oh, actually, I'm quite happy that I got a bomb lobber. I don't. I only got one of those, and this is actually a very good card. But yeah, that's Mildruid. As you can see, two games took half an hour, so it's very slow, but it's very methodical and it is very good. If you enjoy this kind of deck, then uh, please take another look at the deck list, if you will. That's right here. Of course, this is not my deck. I got it from Reddit. Duh. But this is the exact list we had on Reddit, and it is very, very good. We should probably just rename this. Mildew. There we go. So, if you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you didn't, then don't! Or, no, actually just don't. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye!